Hi, I'm Tony Wells from Driving Ambition. I've produced a number of videos of how to navigate around the Bowwaters roundabout, a large multi-lane roundabout that is close proximity to the Gillingham DPSA test centre. The key to navigate this roundabout is forward planning, use of road signs and road markings to work out where you're supposed to be lighting up the car, and lane discipline, choosing the right lane, staying in your lane, and joining new lanes if instructed to do so. So leaving the test centre, turning right into Corny Road. Be careful when an emerging here is quite a close junction with limited views to the right. And a reminder that we're entering a 30 mile an hour speed limit road. The driving examiner may give instructions of first exit left at the first roundabout and then follow the signs to Raylan. Or take the fourth exit at the second roundabout. So mirrors the signal for left turn, looking to the right for a safe gap. So looking at the roundabout sign, Raynham, fourth exit, is way over to the right, the last exit. So we'll check mirrors and put the right hand signal and then move over into the newly formed right hand lane. And the road markings to Raynham confirm that we are in the correct lane. There doesn't tend to be too much indicated on the bow orders roundabout, but because it is our last exit, we can leave our right hand signal on. Traffic lights are red, so we do have a bit of a wait. So therefore, we have secured the car with a handbrake. And as the lights change from red to amber, let's prepare the car. Check both wing mirrors. Let's make progress as the lights turn green. Come straight over to the right into the inside lane. Signs and road markings confirm that we're positioned correctly for Raynham and heads up to react to the traffic lights ahead of us, which are red, and then secure the car. As soon as the lights turn green, check your mirrors and keep in your right hand signal on from before, move over into the new lane forming on the right. The road sign confirms that we're going to keep the car to the right react to the new set of traffic lights in front of you. The Raynham lane now splits to form two lanes left and right. We can use either, but the preferred option is the left hand lane on the outside. So keep the car positioned over to the left, shown by the blue line in the diagram. At this point we can cancel our right hand signal, check our mirrors and put a left hand signal to say that we're leaving the next exit, react to the next set of traffic lights and keep pinning your lane to leave towards right in the left hand lane. The right hand lane now merges in, so check your right hand mirror, maybe a right hand shoulder check just to make sure no one is trying to muscle in in front of you. Thank you for watching. Please check out other videos in this series.